What is going on guys? Welcome back to the 10th episode of Caught in the Mix, the YouTube show where I give you my honest personal opinion on new and upcoming tracks, singles, albums, as well as looking down memory lane, looking at some older pieces of work and ranking them on a scale encompassing the mixing, the mastery, the lyrics, as well as the beats themselves. For our 10th episode today, I thought we'd do something special and I will actually be reacting to Led Zeppelin's Stairway to Heaven. Uh, this is going to be the live version and I'm very excited to see it because uh, just while browsing YouTube, I actually found this one on my own and it has over 51 million views, which is ridiculous for any artist, any number that is impressive. Um, and I'm just really excited to see what this live experience kind of has to offer. Led Zeppelin is sort of notorious for... Um, changing up their solos, changing up uh, certain lyrics uh, during their live shows. They really uh, took some risks to uh, to kind of add new, new dynamics in their songs. Um, and what a better place to do it than on a live show where you get instant feedback from your fans and you know whether they enjoy it or not. I've seen some other videos of live shows where Jimmy Page completely switches up the uh, guitar solo and he kind of um, goes on his own, making his own uh, new bridges up, his new uh, new chords that haven't been played before, and um, just seeing what works, what doesn't. So that's why uh, I'm very excited. And, and a video that has 51 million plays, you know that there has to be some uh, just phenomenal um, just live recording. So, so without further ado, let's just get into it. That is such an iconic guitar from Jimmy Page. The uh, the double necked, it's just iconic. I've always been wondering who plays the flute in this track, or is it outsourced? The lighting is just phenomenal in this clip. The way they got the uh, the spotlight just to highlight Robert Plant's head solely, you know, like everything else is in shadows. Not even his whole body, just his head gives him like this halo. Ridiculous effects. Take those musical liberties. I love when they switch it up. Look at the confidence he exudes. At this point in time, with music, you can just tell that Led Zeppelin, Robert Plant, they just know they're at the top of the game. Like, look at look at the confidence that this man just gives out. Yeah. 
there it is. It is ridiculous. Hold on, guys. I'm going to pause it there. It is crazy that a live rendition of this song sounds so accurate to the original. Save for some static you can hear, this could be uh, the same quality as a studio recording minus the, the you know, in post the mixing and mastery. Like, this is listening to these musicians just uh, perform the craft just makes you realize that, like, to be a musician, you know, 50 years ago, it would have taken a lot more skill than some musicians that, you know, rely on autotune or rely on um, their beats to carry them and uh, their lyricism is, you know, maybe less than. But just seeing these uh, gentlemen here just being so good at their craft that a live rendition, a live recording sounds so on par with their regular studio recorded work that is just ridiculous so There it goes. All instruments, just a perfect harmony, just synchronized so well. Those wailing vocals. That little riff there, that's not regularly in the song. Love it. What skilled musicians? And John Bonham just destroying those drums. This isn't the regular solo. I love that. Jimmy Page sounds like two guitarists at the same time. Listen to Shred. Look how the other members come to the backstage, let the light shine on Jimmy for the second. 
Ralphie adds this this tune that's just never been added to the song before. own musical liberties. Look, look how much effort he's putting in there. It's a soul-wrenching guitar solo. Is there a difference between the studio recording and this recording? Like, his vocals are just so on point. He had to. Right at the end there, he had to. And that's why you gotta respect it. Alright, so my thoughts on that uh that video that I, that experience, well obviously the song itself, I'm not gonna give you a rating on my opinion on Stairway to Heaven. Um, Stairway to Heaven is a track that I have known for years and listened to for um, probably around a decade, right? Um, hearing the track itself, I will say, uh, without uh, rating it or ranking it, I will say that the track just has such powerful imagery. It just has, it takes you on a journey throughout the track. It takes you on multiple stages of where you can feel the energy. It's low energy, then it, then it you know, kind of crescendos and then comes back down and it, it's um just phenomenal storytelling through a song um the lyrics are phenomenal in that song thoughts on this video itself are that the cinematography was phenomenal especially for the the time it was recorded um i'm so glad that we have recordings like this of occasions like this that that you know in the future will actually be good to just hold on to and, and have uh, some evidence of, you know, the amount of work and the amount of effort that bands like Led Zeppelin put into their stage presence. And they're just, when Led Zeppelin steps on stage, it's just such a overpowering presence. Like they, they just direct your attention and um, they did a phenomenal job highlighting who to, uh, you know, kind of give your attention to with the lighting and the, uh, the effects with the camera. Robert Plant's vocals sounded so similar to the studio recording that uh, I'd argue he is probably one of the best singers that 
exist that, you know, have existed. Uh, Jimmy Page was ridiculous. The new solos he brought, the new uh, guitar chords that he decided to play, you know, the liberties that he attempted to remix the song with and uh even even down to the keyboard um just the the instrumentals were so crisp during that live set and um it really makes you realize you know kind of the amount of skill you need to possess to be a professional artist back in that time i really enjoyed that video i really enjoyed all the aspects of it i really enjoyed the uh instruments i really enjoyed the singing i really enjoyed the cinematography itself to rank it, basically, it's a 10. It's, um, you don't get much better than that as far as live recordings that are so crisp uh, of an artist uh, during an era where the recordings weren't crisp and where basically the band members take their own path and take their own liberties uh, playing instrumentation that's, that's never been heard before, but it works so well. And I feel kind of like no matter what direction uh, Robert Plant and Jimmy Page were going to take as far as, uh, the new, new chords, new, uh, new vocals they were going to hit. Um, it was going to work regardless because they just have such good synergy and work so well together that, um, they would have figured it out. So yeah, that's, uh, that's about it for me. If you guys have a different opinion about this video, if you have any trivia about this song and you want to leave it below for other viewers to see, uh, just place it down there. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks, guys.